that's up so fast. Hey, today I'm going to do a little testing of this 2020 BMW 1250 GSA. The bike weighs about 600 pounds. Uh, the gear on the bike is empty, so there's about 50 pounds of gear on the bike. Me as a rider and all my gear weighs about 200 pounds. So that's about 850 pounds. And I'm gonna try to ride at 30 miles an hour, 40, 50, and 60 miles an hour. Get level with these cones and slam on the front brake, slam on the rear brake, and see how fast I can stop. Now let me stop right here for a minute and say this. I am not a professional rider. I'm an amateur rider. I have a lot of fun riding this bike, dirt and asphalt. This test is not scientific. It's not to be trusted. It's just me having fun and sharing with you my fun experience. But again, let's see what we can do. So anyway, thanks for watching. If, if you like this information, if this entertains you in any way, subscribe to my channel. It's a new channel, it's a young channel, and hit the like button and give me your comments. I have knobby tires on here. These are some Motos tires. Again, street tires, I don't know if they've stopped faster or slower, but take that in mind too. So aired up at approximately 40 pounds here and 36 in the front, and we'll see what we can do. So stay tuned. We're gonna go at 30, 40, 60, 50, and 60 miles an hour. Again, thanks for watching. Three test. First test is 30 miles an hour. Hit the cone. I'll go three, two, one, brake. Slam on the brakes. Front brake, rear brake. See how many feet it takes to stop. Then we'll come around and do 40, then we'll come around and do 50. See what happens. Remember, this is not professionally done. This is in for your entertainment purposes only. Here we go, 30 miles an hour. Try to get the cruise control set too on that. All right, here we go. Ready, three, two, one. Ah, whoa, whoa, that stops fast. So that is 10, 20, so less than 20 feet to stop at 30 miles an hour. Again, this is not a test track. This is to be, it's just for fun, <laughs> for your entertainment value. <laughs> okay, those are tracks straight ahead. We just did 30 miles an hour, we stopped less than 20 feet. 40 miles an hour, what would you guess be? At 40, same thing, I would say, uh, maybe, let's go, uh, if we did 20 feet, probably 35, 40 feet. Let's see what happens. Here we go, 40 miles an hour. One, two, three. Bam, 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 bam. Whoa, whoa, that's up so fast. 10, 20, 30. So about 35 feet, 40 miles an hour. I'm just telling you, this bike with 850 pounds, it stops so fast. Okay, one more at 50 miles an hour. Whew, well, maybe we'll exceed the cones. All right, our track is way down there. And we're gonna try to do this at 50 miles an hour. Cruise control set, slam on the brakes as hard as I can and we'll see what happens. So we were at about 20, about 35, at 50. Man, I think it's gonna be all at 50 feet, maybe more, let's see. That was maybe 48, 49, but we used 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, almost 60 feet. That is a lot. 60 feet at 48, 49 miles an hour, not quite 50. Well, as you can see, the bike stops really fast, and I think we should learn how fast we can stop our bike in case of emergency. Now, this is not an emergency braking situation because I know when I'm gonna put on the brakes. But in real life, when you're coming up that intersection and that car does the wrong thing and cuts in front of you, I think it's good to know approximately how fast you can stop so that you don't damage the bike as bad as you could. Wink, wink. 
So if you're going 30 miles an hour, man, you can stop quick. 50, it's gonna take you a little more time to stop, but I think you'll have time. Learn how to use that front brake, ABS. This bike is an amazing bike, the BMW 250 TSA. It is really cool. Anyway, thanks for listening. Remember, subscribe if you like this video, like, and give me your comments. What do you think? Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.